been quite enjoyable so far. I mean, it's been a, a great uh, opportunity to come back here and uh, um, be part of uh, an exciting research center working with exciting graduate students and fellow faculty members uh, working on uh, a wide array of different projects all related to Canada's military history. I think studying Canadian military history uh, presents uh, um, an opportunity to learn from past mistakes that we've uh, made during and after previous conflicts. Uh, I think if, uh, um, if we don't take the opportunity to learn from some of the things that have happened in the past, uh, it's not that we'll be doomed to repeat those mistakes, but that we'll lose the opportunity to perhaps uh, make the lives of veterans today, for example, um, and their families uh, more manageable. Um, so I think studying Canadian military history uh, presents a unique opportunity uh, to learn about the past and to apply the lessons from the uh, past to the present. LCMSDS has a very active publication program uh, which allows students to get uh, experience in all aspects of the publication process from writing to design work to actually managing the peer review process itself. We also have an extensive archival collection, uh, which is still growing. Uh, and we have literally more than a dozen students right now uh, working on um, developing that collection, developing the finding aids to the collection and digitizing large portions of it, uh, as well as writing blog entries and putting uh, um, documents online for the general public and uh, researchers to use. Uh, in addition to that, we run a very active uh, series of speaking events and conferences as well as seminars uh, for um, both academics and interested members of the general public. So we have a very active, I think, research program here at the center, uh, and all of these things pre present uh, great opportunities for students to get involved. Right now we're working on a very large uh, scale project which will see the digitization of uh, roughly 200,000 personnel files or about uh, 10 million individual pages of uh, documentation. Um, these are the veterans files of First World War soldiers that were created after they came home. They document the lives of those individuals from 1918 through until they died. They provide uh, an unprecedented window into the lives of ordinary Canadians, uh, both from a military history perspective as well as simply from a Canadian social history perspective. Uh, I'm right now actively recruiting masters and PhD students who are interested in working with records like these to explore not just Canada's military history and the experience of veterans and their families, uh, but also the ways in which uh, war has shaped the lives of ordinary people uh, in not so tangible ways. Everybody who came home from the First World War, for example, was touched in some way by that conflict, as were uh, the lives of their wives or their husbands in some cases, uh, and indeed their kids and their grandkids. And this is about exploring the ways in which, I guess, uh, the hidden histories of uh, uh, conflict and war in Canada have sometimes been overlooked in trying to bring those things back to life. Terry Cobb started LCMSDS back in the late 1980s and founded the journal Canadian Military History in 1992. Uh, like many graduate students in Canadian military history, Terry has been a role model and an important influence in my professional life. Uh, Terry's been a good friend and a mentor to me for more than a decade. Uh, we've written books together and uh, worked on a number of projects together. We still are today. Um, and so for me, the opportunity to come and work with Terry on a professional level uh, and to try and fill his admittedly large shoes here at the center, uh, it's been, I think, a dream come true. So it's been uh, an excellent experience, and I'm looking forward to being involved with Terry and his research for many years to come.